morning. Today we are off on another adventure. We are just leaving the town of Wasilla. Loaded up on diesel. Stopped and got Sonic. Sonic is a big deal to us. It just opened this past summer and um, not something we ever get to have up here. So it is minus one degrees right now. It's cold. We just left the southern part of Alaska and now we are headed north towards Fairbanks. So this is the coldest we've experienced all winter. Took a turn here on Hatcher's Pass and all of these vehicles are lined up and that road is shut down because the river broke loose and flooded so houses are being evacuated. We wanted to go check it out but can't make it back there. It's minus 12 degrees right now. It's kind of crazy that the river broke. Okay, let's keep going north. Matt Supero alert low-lying areas along Willow Creek and Tineke RD assisted evacuation in process. Residents needing assistance to evacuate call 911. Give your location, number of people and number of animals to evacuate. Water rescue team will respond and assist. Jesus. <laughs> I thought something happened to the van. I know. <laughs> so we're just driving along and my phone starts vibrating and beeping and then the radio said that. But ooh, that's more interesting though. Look at her. into their videos <laughs> that actually just happened that was real so this area is flooding because the river broke but we're just gonna keep going It is 10 below zero right now and we just stopped here to let Ember out and do her thing. The drive has been amazing so far. The road was a little bit icy. Um, the van did perfectly fine on it. The one thing that we are thinking about though is it is two o'clock in the afternoon and the sun will be going down in 40 minutes. So being about 45 miles away from the nearest town which is Cantwell and getting close to Denali National Park we're about halfway to Fairbanks so we will be driving in the dark and um, it's just gonna get colder the further we go along so yeah we're doing great though Ember come on she just thinks she owns the place. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, moving on. Trooper is notorious 
we're pulling people over. So if you're ever coming through Denali National Park, always go speed limit around here. Because he just sits here all year round, seems like 24 hours a day, to pull people over. It's the same guy. What, do you know him by name? No. <laughs> we have been warned about him, though. I have not gotten a ticket from him, but I have been told about him. Yes. Twice. <laughs> yeah. We're about 85 miles away from Fairbanks right now and it is 3.30 in the afternoon. It's minus 32 degrees outside. have the SPAR heater system running. See that? My nose hairs are starting to freeze. Just wanted to make sure that everything's okay before we leave Ember in there. Um, looking around, I'm noticing that a lot of cars are out here just running without people in them, but guess what? This is my hometown. This is where I grew up. I actually grew up in North Pole, Alaska, but um, 18 years of my life was spent in this weather. What was I thinking? Then I moved to Hawaii. Now that was a smart idea. Moving to Hawaii was like a good thing. Once it gets so cold, you don't notice it anymore. It's just cold. Yeah, I, you know, I tell people that. I'm like, once you get to like zero, cold is cold. Although holding this camera, my fingertips are a little bit numb, so, um, I'm ready for some adult beverages. <laughs> uh, they have the green chili cheese elk burger, which is so delicious. Buffalo burgers, southern burger pork sandwich. Everything looks so good. But I'm going to go with the elk burger. As you can see, it's 1030 at night and this line is saying it's minus 22 degrees. I think after about minus 10, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the coldest temperature we endured today was minus 36 degrees. We're headed over. To find somewhere to sleep. I think that's gonna be Camp Walmart. We got Ember a present for this cold weather. <laughs> Mm 
Previously, Ember was out in the cold and somebody suggested we put booties on her, although generally it's something we just put on her paws and protects it from the elements, but let's see how this works out. This is a viewer suggestion. She seems real excited. <laughs> really curious to see how long these last on the lab in Alaska in minus 30 degree temperatures. Keep in mind that when I grew up I had dogs in Alaska in minus 60 degree temperatures. And I'll be honest, this is the first time I have ever seen anybody put boots on a Labrador Retriever. <laughs> but it's you. She's like, Daddy, you're torturing me. But I think this is more torture than the actual cold in her paws. Actually, I think she likes it. She does. <laughs> Is that better? So if she was wanting in the van right now, she'd be telling us that she wants to be back in the van. But she's happy. It's freaking 30 below. She's got her boots on. She's like, okay, yeah, I'll stay out here all night. I'm good. Yep. I'll sit right here, Daddy, and wait for you. Okay. That was fun. Fingers are frozen. It's 10 30 
and Jim and I are just hanging out and I am in my favorite part of the van and that's the back bedroom. I just feel like I have a space all to myself. It is cozy and it is warm, even though it's freaking cold outside. The downfall to being in this type of weather, whether you live here or you're just visiting, is there's not a whole lot to do outside. So Jim is up there watching our friends at Van Trekking, Hi Owen, Hi Lynn, and um, he's watching your latest video. I am hanging out back here and getting ready to go to sleep. I'm looking forward to tomorrow because our plan is if everything goes well tonight, we are going to head up to the Arctic Circle and camp there for the night and celebrate the beginning of the new year. So I think tonight is going to go perfectly fine. I'm going to sleep good and tomorrow's going to be a wonderful day. We'll see you in the morning.